But enough of this palaver. Let's get the show on the road. Pat. <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. Yeah, but... Jesus. We, we like to come in the middle of a conversation. Well, we like to we... throw the gossip ball around right, a little huh? bit before wow. the show. Big throw it around. <laughs> we like to throw uh, it around like the ladies do. Right, down the hall. The girls, the chicks. No, I'm, uh, I'm a fan of Art Bell, and I guess he's leaving Sirius XM already. He's had it. And I, my, my question was, didn't he just get here? Yes. And the answer is yes. He got here September, I want to say like September 16th, middle of September, whatever. Yeah. And he's had it. He's are, leaving. What, are aliens taking him away? Is that what it is? Uh, no. No? He's very frustrated by the technology around here. You know? Really? And, and we're mentioned in the article as well as um, oh. Howard and Jay Thomas. All having similar complaints about Sirius XM. Wow. Yeah, Art Bell leaves Sirius XM. I was just listening to him this morning. I love Art Bell. Now, I didn't even listen to him ever before, and he's yeah. already leaving? Well, Art Bell, the radio icon that joined Sirius XM's lineup on September 16th. <laughs> Oh, no. Is leaving the air after just a month and a half. While passionate satellite radio fans may not want to hear it, his reasons for leaving boil down to three main things. And these are the points we have been making for wow. years. Wow, okay, let's see what Art says. Sirius XM's web player is notoriously unreliable, causing a loss of sub- subscribers and a degraded uh, listening experience for I, those who remain listening online. I don't know what he's talking about. That's crazy. Basically, the online listening is a nightmare. We get, we get complaints every day. Every single day about that. Every day. Every single day we get complaints about that. Where I don't even pass them along to those, um, can't say idiots anymore. Cause, oh, know. that's right. The idiots down the hall. Remember them? Yeah, I can't really call them idiots. Because <laughs> we have, uh, you know, Tim Sabian is trying to, well, Tim Sabian still collecting info, but eventually he's going to start working for the channel. <laughs> is he still collating? <laughs> he's still collecting. He's collating information. He's having individual meetings with uh, the entire staff, including Club Soda Caddy. Everyone gets about an hour <laughs> with exactly. Tim Sabian. Exactly. He, he's, he's gathering. He's gathering info. He and eventually, me as an idiot. And eventually he's going to get on it and make this channel way better. Yeah. But just having him aboard has made the show a lot better because we feel like we're in good hands. Well, I like the fact that we don't have to deal with the idiots down the hall. No. <laughs> that, that, to me... Is such a plus. How nice is it to just wave, go, hi, Dude, how, how are you? How great has it been since Cause they have just had nothing to do with this show? Because I'm, I'm a motherfucker. Some would call me a psycho. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, when it's uh, over, it's over. Right. Like, you know, I have nothing bad to say about Gary and Steve and... and Remember the Rob Cross guy? I, I guess he's not here Which anymore. Which one was he? I, I have not seen him since the change. Iraq comment? Rob stops by once in a while. He's yes. still very, uh, very friendly with everybody. Oh, that's uh, nice. Now that there's no management role uh, between him and us, so he, he's very cool. He comes and he hangs out. Everyone else doesn't even... Acknowledge no. when we say it's hi like the, in the chick hallway. with the tumultuous yeah. relationship, and yeah. then all of a sudden uh, you break up, but you still see each other, and then it's just like that weight is off your shoulder. It's like yeah. ah, I don't have to deal with this anymore, so it's but, fine. But Gary avoids us at all costs. I've oh. seen him once since the change. I think maybe twice, maybe twice. But hi, Gary, how are you? And it doesn't even matter. I'm not gonna kick him anymore. Not seeing. <laughs> Not seeing them them outside, uh, right? Like like vultures on the branch of a dying tree, mm. uh, uh, outside that door when we leave here every mm. day. Mm. It, it it's so special to me. I think it really proves they really didn't want anything to do with us. Nothing. Because don't you think after after the management change, if they were really into the radio show and what we're doing, they would have said something since. Like, anything. I know I'm not involved anymore, but I just want to tell you, but, uh, you know, when you guys were talking about that thing or, or uh, whatever, they nothing. don't even know we're still on the sh- on the platform. You think oh, they, they still work here? What? You think the we're Opie off and their, Anthony? You think we're off their presets? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the Opie, the Opie and Andy show. <laughs> right. Is that that? Was that them? <laughs> yeah, they're having this conversation with each other. Isn't it nice to see those two <laughs> yes, assholes? Of course. Walk up the hall and and I'm, go, so, I'm so of fine course. with that. <laughs> I'm not. 
not thinking this is one sided. They're 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 freaking having a, a blast. Oh, they're talking about us. Do-dying out this door every fucking right. day. Right. They love. They have nothing to do with this show anymore. They're probably discussing. You know, my blood pressure has dropped uh, drastically. Oh. My high blood pressure seems to have gone away since oh, my, uh, leaving that show. My wife says I look younger. <laughs> right. Asked if I changed my hair. I think I got a hint of a hair follicle <laughs> since <laughs> leaving yeah, yeah. <laughs> leaving that channel. <laughs> I do believe there's a possibility I might get a few extra hairs uh, out of it. <laughs> yeah, he's got a full head of hair now. <laughs> he's got a Charlie Brown thing happening. Uh, a couple of sprouted out of his head. Jesus. Um, anyway, so Art Bell supposedly is leaving. He, All right, he didn't like the uh, the app. Uh, three main reasons. Sirius XM's web player is notoriously unreliable. I don't understand why this is still an issue. It's run by the, uh, I could easily, the healthcare, the Affordable Health Care yeah. Act uh, website. I could easily go uh, and look back on my Twitter from yesterday, and I'm yeah. sure there's a few complaints from yesterday. Oh, yeah. I'm sure. So he's, like, frustrated by that. Uh, then he says, uh, for a caller-driven show, the caller pool for our show is just too small. Ah. We, we have uh, run into that. We knew that when we first started here. Now, coming from NEW. Right. Uh we we had fucking thousands of callers. It was a, at any given moment. Remember, lines full. Remember when our show started at three, the phones were already lit with a whole bunch of things yep. people wanted to talk about. Yes. I think it's just different. Uh, I, I do think it's probably a smaller audience than our NEW heyday. Yeah. Although now it's spread out across the entire country, which we didn't right. have in the past. Uh, but, I mean, when we get on a kind of a hot topic, then the phones definitely light up. Yeah. They're there. But in general, they're not there just... You know, wanting to shoot the shit, but I don't think, but I don't think people use the the phone in the same way. In either. the same way they used to, and and Art Bell, I think, if, especially if you're just moving over here, it takes a while to cultivate an audience, uh, and and especially one that's going to be proactive and, right. and call you in the middle and, of the night. In the middle of the night, right? Right. And he is a very you know caller based kind of you know interaction with the audience guy. I swear to you, at this point, and maybe you could back me up. I think I I think I make. One phone call a week, maybe. Yeah, yeah. I'm not. Right. I, I think that's about it. Every once in a while, I gotta you know check in, make sure everything's cool at home, and and that's about it. I was everything on the else phone. is just text messages to yes. people. Yes, I was on the phone yesterday, and and it was with a Verizon, so you know you got to sit there and hold for a little while and stuff. Right. Three times during the call, I, when I was on hold, and this is no bullshit. Three times, right, during the call. I went to look for my phone to look at Twitter and stuff. Oh, really? It's at my <laughs> ear. It was at my ear. Oh, that's hilarious. But, but you, I was looking like, oh, I'm on hold. I need something to do. Where's my phone? I, oh, it's on my ear. And do it like five minutes later, you're like, oh, where's my phone? It's like clicking on the light switch when um, when, when the lights are out, when, right. when you have no power. Right. It's this just a habit now, but, but you don't, you're not used to making phone calls anymore. I mean, looking back uh, a bunch of years ago, you think, could you imagine that we'd have this amazing t technology where you could just tap in a few numbers and then you could like talk to someone you know it's wherever crazy. the fuck they are in the country, but then you move forward and go, you know what? That's that's dumb. I don't I, want that. I got a right to them. I need to just send them words. That, that's ridiculous. <laughs> it's, it's ridiculous. So uh, for a caller-driven show, the caller pool of art show is just too small. Mm. And then uh, it says, uh, international listeners have no legitimate way to hear the show. International listeners. Yeah, because satellite doesn't really go overseas. We have, we have a, quite the audience overseas. Now, but, how? But, but they have found other ways to, right, to right. get the show. And, you know, you know he, that would happen with him. But it takes, Eventually. A, little, takes a little time for the, for the boys to set up shop. <laughs> how is it? <laughs> How was he getting an international audience before? I don't know. Iraq Screaming. comment, Iraq uh, student of radio. He probably had the BBC. Yeah, uh, a lot of BBC. A lot the of BBC. the stations that he was on were streaming online. Okay. You could get through. All right. All right. Yeah, that makes okay. sense. Okay. But you can't, you can't you like subscribe over in like yeah. fucking Ireland. Mm -hmm. uh, but if he just if, had a website that way. Well, All right, I'm in. Well, I mean, technically, if you had a login, you could work around or what, but not I hear a you. legitimate way. Right. Right. 
Oh, God, de Blasio is oh, there marching he is. around with his Afro kid today. With his fucking big-headed Here, let me Afro finish kid. this, then we yeah. get into de Blasio. We're about to get a, a shitty mayor here in New York City. Enjoy, New York. A shitty mayor. And we made fun of Bloomberg. My God, I wish, oh, I wish Bloomberg was around for another four years. It's going to be Snake Plissken City. Right. Uh, the departure of Art Bell, as unfortunate as it is, should be a signal to Sirius XM. Ah, this is uh, one of these ah, 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 I told you so moments that's about to be uh, Who wrote said this, here. By the way, it's on his uh, website. Oh, he, he. Oh, did he write it? Uh, no, I, I guess Sirius Buzz, which kind of writes about satellite oh, I got radio, you. Yep. or now just Sirius XM. I think they used to write for you know uh, for both. Uh, stuff about both companies. Um, the company has a compelling product, great content, and great potential. That sounds good. I absolutely agree with that. Oh, that sounds very nice. But in some ways, uh -oh. has lost the edge that it once had. I've said that. You've said that as well. Exactly. We had a huge lead over all the other, all the other. I can't even call them competitors. All the other um, entertainment uh, options that right. are out there. Yeah. Uh, see, the frustrations of Bell can be heard on other channels as well. Opie and Anthony, Howard Stern, Jay Thomas, and others have all, at times, expressed a great deal of frustration. In some ways, the complaints of on-air personalities ring back to the old FM days of terrestrial radio, a path that many consumers and on-air personalities could not wait to get away from. Mm. True so. that, true that. Yeah, I believe Sirius XM had a huge lead. Yeah. And now, like, you know, everyone's kind of catching up. And you then know we, that, we that, bitch and complain about the, the web player, and it, it's still not, not, I want to say perfect. I guess it's never going to be perfect, but it's still not efficient. Yeah. You know what, though? Art's got to, like, it's a, it's a fucking month. I mean, I think he's got to, he should give it a little time and, and be resourceful. Try to find some workarounds like we have. Right. You know, uh, th there's things you can do to boost your audience and right and shit like that. You're in a new. If he went to, uh, if he went to another FM station, it takes time to build an audience well, and ha have them find out where you are and stuff. Yeah. Why so quickly? I understand being frustrated and stuff, but how about bitching at him and stuff? A month doesn't even give you time to. I to fucking get through any corporate smokescreen. Are you are you actually asking why? Have you ever heard Art Bell? <laughs> All right. His yeah. brain his brain works a little differently. It doesn't than, think like than ours. normal people. Okay. <laughs> But and he, isn't he under contract? So what is he talking about? That's what I'm thinking. Maybe, maybe all this shit that he's pouring out there is some kind of breach of contract thingy. Right. He, he retired in 2003, and like you said, he's been back for a month and a half. The reason the caller pool is small is because he hasn't built a show. That's true. You got to really kind of sure. build up a fucking audience. All right, so that's uh, that's going on. I I hope Art Bell stays because uh, I, I I love Art Bell. Yeah, he's a weirdo. I, I like used to it. listen to him a lot back in the day. Not so much, uh, you know. Since September. Yeah. Actually, I got to admit, I don't think I've... No, I have not heard him since he came to Sirius XM. So. Yeah, I haven't either. I uh, listen to him when I'm driving in. Yeah. Oh, do you? What was he talking about today? He's talking about uh, how it's obvious. He had the caller on the phone because he keeps the one guest on the phone for the whole two or three hour show. What? And then he takes callers to call in and talk to him. But this one guy had evidence that human humanity started on Mars. Okay, sure. So that was the whole gist. <laughs> That's believable. Yeah. <laughs> All so right. The human race actually started on Mars. Yeah, I don't think we're from here. I don't. <laughs> I just don't think humans are from here. I happen to think that the solar system, uh, you got kind of, uh, you know, Earth right now. Yeah. And and I th I think the, the the planets like they trade off. Like yeah. Mars was the big fucking the big wig of the solar system. They were the system. rock star for they a long time. They were the ones with the life and the fucking they everything were, like that. They were like the Led Zeppelin, right? And then as things change with the sun, maybe, and other things with the different planets, gravitational pull, this, that, the other thing, life on Mars kind of dwindled away, and then life on Earth starts up. Right. And then before you know it, like, you know, maybe um, fucking Venus will get it, or, or fucking Saturn or some shit. And the Mars people, they had the technology, and they did a little s skipperoo. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I was reading uh, yesterday. There's like billions of planets, just like Earth. Just they're like starting Earth. to figure out. They're, uh, I forgot the exact number, but it was in the billions. Land, they're water, like, there are atmosphere. Billions of planets out there that are just like Earth. Yeah. Of course, there's life out uh, there. Oh, there's got to be something crawling around. See, we don't need uh, Neil deGrasse. Oh, we could use our own brains. There's life out there. It's obvious. <laughs> it's got to be. Come and, on. And the Greys. The, that's what they call the aliens. The Greys. The Greys. They've been, uh, you know, kind of with us ever, 
ever since we uh, started recording time. That alien look is silly. The greys. The greys. And if you think about them in, like, spaceships, in flying saucers, or, or what we typically think of some es- extraterrestrial ship, right. it doesn't make any sense. Right. Their body type, their big, long fingers aren't conducive to buttons and switches and things. They it's all got to just... duck their heads. Yeah, we, we put these aliens with different body types and, and appendages into these machines that we right. would be familiar and be and, able to work in. And if you have... And if you're so advanced techn- technologically, why would you why would you make yourself look so damn ugly? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think they should gussy themselves up? I don't know, like you know, pick your favorite broad, and you know, all the all the grays look like that broad, and pick your favorite dude out there for for the people that are into that. And why don't some have it? beards or makeup or yeah, fucking man. like different hairstyles? They all look exactly the exactly. same. Exactly, <laughs> exactly the same. Yeah. There's more to this art thing than than the article. Oh, a conspiracy. All right, let me uh, let's go to Patrick, who's a fan of Art Bell. He probably knows more. Go ahead, Patrick. Why don't you call him, you yeah. fucking idiot? You may, yeah, really. You're the reason he's leaving. Hey. Give the Art give the poor Art sap Art a Art phone call. Talk. Holy Art shit! Talks about this on the show, right? Um, but George Norrie from Coast to Coast, which was part of that Clear Channel block that just left XM, also. Wow. Um, Art Bell's been talking. George Norrie told uh, a lot of the guests, which they share between the two shows, that if they go on Art Bell's show, they can no longer be on Coast to Coast. So Art Bell's been losing all of his guests because oh. obviously Coast to Coast was a bigger show, and those guests, you know, they have a small niche anyway, so they don't want to leave the George Norrie Coast to Coast show, so they've been leaving Art Bell, and he's been having a hard time getting guests. Well, he's got to give it a little time. You should get Roland. Right. I I agree. What's well, Coast to Coast, by the way? That's Art Bell's old show that now yeah. the other dude hosts. Oh, so oh. Oh, so they just replaced Art Bell? Yeah, they just put in another idiot. Gee, another idiot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That, that statement has plenty of implications. <laughs> uh, I don't know, something with the greys. Yeah. A.K.A. aliens. Yeah, they, they find them on, like, cave walls and stuff. Yeah. Is that, do they really, or is it like those things? Because well, I've seen those too. Remember the ancient astronauts uh, movie that came out? Yeah. Chariots of the Gods yes. years ago. And, and they're like, here is paintings on a cave wall that obviously shows a man in a spaceship. And it's like, ah, it could be some guy sitting on a log. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah. They're well, all very. Um, well, why can't it just be their imagination? Like they're bored in a cave and they're like, you know what? Yeah. We could, we could think up some shit here. Yeah, they, like to they, make our day go by a little faster. Right. Well, we're not drawing fucking like saber tooth tigers, uh, and we're hunting that. Right. I'll draw something like we're flying. Right. Look, you could just. I want to fly like a bird. I don't know. You could you could draw like a weird head. Look, I'm doing it right, right now. Look, look, some weird, really long, squiggly arms. Oh, that's proof of ancient aliens look, right it, there. If that was on a fucking <laughs> cave wall, you would go. Obviously, aliens were walking Pro- around. Proof right there. See? Ancient aliens. Here, put this on a wall. I want this to be found someday. <laughs> yeah, why couldn't yeah, they just yeah. have imaginations? Let's, yeah. Let's pump this shit up. No, it always comes back to Why did it have to, to be everything alien. that was perfectly happening at that time? Very literal. Instead of people maybe fucking around and going, oh, let's, uh, you know, let's make our life experience a little... A little more interesting. Yeah, hieroglyphics can never just be some fucking Egyptian's version of a comic strip. Yeah, some goofball going something I, that. Yeah, I want to fucking write some fantasy here on this yeah, wall. Yeah, yeah, some fan fiction. Some uh, fan fiction. Like sure. E-Rock. Right. Art, uh, what? The reason that he quit was yeah. because he said. It, did he officially quit? Yeah, it said. Wow. This is his quote. Then what were you listening to? An old show? Yeah, they're replaying a show. Oh. Oh. They got 20 of them in the can. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, he goes, uh, I started the show with the expectation that my listeners would be able to stream the show since they were coming from AM. Mm. Uh, and then he said they started the 30 day trial and found out it was dropping out on them every few minutes oh, after the 30 day trial. Most did not renew. Why would they face with paying 180 bucks a year for something that was not working right? What would you do? So I lost my base. My show is based on Colin. If all I am left with is truck drivers, Oh. Love them, but their cell connections are not good. <laughs> With cell phones going down the road at 70 miles per hour. <laughs> well, That's you get point. the idea. Good point. And then he says, so I asked Sirius to allow free streaming for a year until they could fix their problems, and they said no. 
the show was simply not viable under these conditions. Wow. So he just, he left. So he's like, yeah, you have to offer your subscription service for free or I'm gone. Wow, yeah. So he's looking for a listener that has a hard line at home. <laughs> yes. So, yeah. So the yeah. signal doesn't drop out. He wants old school That's telephones. Yeah. <laughs> and then he's acting like his conditions. Like, yes, I want you to make this viable for, oh, like, they used to get calls from all these women who are like, I just hooked it up at my 97-year-old mother's house the other day. Right, right. They all bought yeah. all their equipment and year-long subscriptions and all this stuff. Yeah. And he's just like, well, until you can offer it for free. Can't have this. <laughs> right. You, you know what? You know what's great? It's very reminiscent, though, when you, when you read that. Remember when we first started on satellite? It was the only calls you got were from truck drivers. The only calls. Yep. Everyone was a truck driver. Well, they were incredibly dedicated to the service. Very dedicated. They were really the first ones that got it because they're driving cross country. They, right. They don't like uh, having to retune in their radio every few miles. So satellite's a very good option for the truck drivers. And but that's the only people that had it back then. <laughs> mm -hmm. I totally uh, get that because when we were off the air for the two plus years, yeah, I did a lot of just driving around. It was perfect. Yeah, shit. It's like, yeah. holy shit. Wait, I can listen to this show from here to Florida, which I did. I did that yeah. drive a couple times from but New the York first to Florida. People, they're the first people that are going to sample a new show or right. stuff like that. So they're the first people that are going to be calling in. And then they, uh, they share the info with the, each other, too. <laughs> Cell phone going down the road at 70 miles. <laughs> that uh, well, conjures up a great image. How yeah. do you, that's kind of where we are right now in our civilization. Yeah, how, how so do you, you just guys, make it work? How do you guys feel your show was on XM a month and a half into your contract? We were miserable. Oh you yeah, you should have walked. It was. Uh, we had no choice. That's true. <laughs> we were miserable. We were talking to nobody. Yeah, that was because we were on a, we were on a premium on premium. top of it. Yeah, I remember they they had a big cardboard cutout announcing that they had two million subscribers. I think was it two million over the entire platform. Over the yeah. entire platform, so. and then you do the math and go, "Fuck!" If we have like, if we even have ten percent of that, which we didn't, we didn't even have that. It was that terrible. would be two hundred thousand, uh, you know, listeners, and th there was no way we had anywhere near that. We were told like, "Oh, we got twenty thousand subscribers." Oh, that's what it was. And it's like, oh, God. that's right. We were on the premium channel, so they would give us numbers and go, well, "Good news: twenty thousand people have signed up for, for your channel." And that's people that signed up. They're never all listening at once, right? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, we were talking to nobody. A few thousand, probably. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then Eric Logan, thank God, he came around and Get showed off of showed Hugh Panero the way. Thank God. Yeah. It's like, this is ridiculous. you got to open these guys up to everybody. I'm hearing a lot of, from a lot of people that um, are saying they can't get us anymore on the new radios and the new car. And I don't know what that's all about. I, I don't think that's true. I think yeah. in the new cars, they just have to get the package. Bang, so it's bang. a serious radio in the car. Right. If you call up and get the best of XM package. Yeah, but yeah, that's like that's that. the other point I've been making for a long time. And actually, I told Sabian, and he's like, well, that's crazy. And he, supposedly <laughs> he's going to get that done, too. I, I told him to his face. I'm like, you know, I, I, I wish you nothing but the best. And right. obviously, me and Aunt respect you, and we've done good things with you in the past. But I, I, I told him, I go, I don't believe anything you're saying. And I go, it has nothing to do with you. It's just like we've been told so many different things over the years. It, it's really hard to believe anybody around here. Yeah. But, but my my point to him was, look, you got to make this shit easy for the people. They don't understand. They they have a car with an XM unit. Yeah. Uh, to the company, it's everything. But to them, if they go and get a car that has Sirius, they just think that they can't they get our it. channel. Yeah, they don't yeah, understand yeah. these best of packages and all that shit. Yeah, yeah. I don't even understand, and I work here. Right. So you, you think they're going to E-Rock comment? They don't tell you when you buy the new car about the packages. Right. right. My brother right, got a new right. car with the Sirius unit in there, and he didn't know to switch over. Of course no yeah. one knows that. They just assume, oh, I got my satellite radio in my car. Great. Nice. All right, let me tune into Where are they? my Opie and Anthony. Yeah. And it's not there, so they're like, oh, my new car doesn't get it. Yeah, that's yeah. where that stuff's coming from. The the, you know, the subscribers are not educated enough to understand all this stuff. No, they're so stupid. And the one thing you learn <laughs> about business, you got to make it easy. extremely easy, or you're going to lose customers. And that's uh, what's as I, happening. As I told Sabian, like, I mean, could you at least get us on uh, the same channel on both units? Yeah, and he couldn't believe it. He's like, "Wait, that's not the case, right?" I'm like, "No, no." And they, I go, they switched the channels around recently, and. Those guys down the hall thought it would it'd make perfect sense to have us on. 
Is it 105 now? No. Uh, 103. Yes. All right. One, I'm, I'm not even joking. I'm really not even well, joking. For which platform? 103. 103 is XM. Yes. And 206? Yes. Okay. Oh, God. But see, I said 105, and I really meant it. I really meant it. It's easier to remember now because you just double one. Right. 103 is 206 but if you double it. Fun. I told Bladder yeah, and I told fun. Greenstein. I'm like, look, you're now moving Bladder. channels around. That. Why don't you just make it easy? Have us on the same one. You own the company. You can do that. Oh, we can't. For some reason. Well, so, we can't do that. So can, I don't know. The serious technology, we were able to do that. But the XM is weird. Man, I would just make it extremely easy. Just really, really easy. Yeah. And upgrade the web player. And then, you know. Oh, the web player. <laughs> fucking, that fucking Where web player. Where time's out because it assumes you're not listening anymore. Is that No, yeah. when, no when, when you're listening to a talk show, it's kind of there all day. Yeah, when you have that kind of a show on <laughs> right. there. Yes, E-Rock. You know how they promote the music channels where you can have it on your house uh, for parties or like the holiday yeah, channels? Yeah, yeah, It's exactly what Ope said. So you put it on like, oh, this is great. It's good. 20 minutes, all of a sudden, all, all of it goes off and it says, are you still there? So you have to go running back to the computer. I've done this. Okay. I've done this in my house i put on uh serious uh at my house downstairs from playing poker or whatever yeah and um i've had to stop and put on like pandora or something because mm. because it'll just stop every 20 minutes like what what the fuck is that about it's the only radio that assumes you're not listening <laughs> yeah well, you have to be active and fucking yeah, you gotta have a little more confidence it's like the hatch and lost <laughs> right. you gotta punch in the right. numbers <laughs> our product that we're asking you to pay monthly yeah. for right. is so good that we assume you don't listen. No, yeah, as we... a company, you got to have more confidence oh. and just assume they might be listening. <laughs> yeah. We can't you afford sure listening. We you can't really afford st- a right? sacrifice. Are you sure? That kind of bandwidth, if we don't know <laughs> you're listening, <laughs> yeah. it could be best used to somebody that's actually changing the stations every 10 minutes. Like Hello. Netflix allows you at least three episodes automatically before it says, are you still watching this? You click OK, and then it goes another yeah, four. Yeah. A little pop up comes up. You're not. Still listening, are you? Yeah, you can't possibly. No, you can't possibly be. Switch to something else by now, right? Have confidence in your product. Yeah, right? they're listening. <laughs> they Relax. Pay for it. Right. Shit. So, <sighs> Art Bell, by the way, I'm looking at his Twitter. Mm-hmm. He was. I was only here a month and a half. He already mm-hmm. was tweeting about shows he was missing. Like he was already oh, taking shows off. Really? One show he took off because he said the studio in D.C. was down, so no phone lines, no show. He just said, fuck that, I ain't doing a show. That's great. And then like a week ago, he tweeted, uh, there will be no show tonight, my back locked up. And I hit the floor (laughs) like a sack of wet cement. My back locked (laughs) But he can't blame Sirius for that. (laughs) Wait, what happened? His back locked up, so he canceled the show. Oh, man, I'm adding that to my (laughs) excuse. That is a good one. Hey, my back locked up. My back this morning. That's beautiful. All right, well, that sucked. To hear the Opie and Anthony show five days a week live on satellite radio, online on your phone or tablet, or even on demand, go to SiriusXM.com. Also, interact with the Opie and Anthony show on Twitter, at Opie Radio, at Anthony Cumia, and at Jim Norton.